Okay, excellent. We're dealing with the rebels up in the north. Stony Shore is going to be uh, captured within a day by Karstark. Richard, Rickard, Karstark, excellent, thank you. A uh, loyal vassal to the north, excellent. We also have our army down in King's Landing. We're dealing with this, uh, King's Landing. We're going to win the war. Guards drag Donald Locke up from his cell and throw him at my feet. I've come for justice. I don't even know who you are. Who? When did I capture you? You weren't... Why? Oh, oh, because he was trying to... He he was doing something. He was unimportant for me to remember. Um, are you a good fighter? Personal combat skill 60. Versus my personal combat skill of 95. We're going to fight him. I'll handle this myself. Uh, we're going to kill him. One more sticky. Uh, let's say... He's a knight. Which is interesting, because he's a Northman. So he's Sir... Sir Donald Locke, which you usually don't see with the old gods. But... Very interesting, because the knights are only for the uh, Faith of the Seven, usually. I'm gonna... My Faith in the Gods are gonna win this for me. He quickly countered my forceful attacks. Oh my god. Swollen ankle. Sir Donald overwhelms my defenses and moves to elegantly whack his dagger down hard across my leg. I look up at him, towering above me, ready to deliver the finishing blow. Um... Oh my gosh. We're going to say Winter's coming. We're going to continue the fight. Sir Donald manages to get the better of you in this exchange, but he has not defeated you outright. You force, you force yourself back to your feet and hold ice at the ready. Come on, we have the Valyrian steel sword, ice. How are we going to lose to some guy we've had in the dungeon for like a year? This will not end until one of us yields from injury. I'm going to attack with speed. You parry Sir Donald away with ice, allowing you to gracefully bring down your weapon on an opening in his defense. We're going to strike him. I easily break through Sir Donald's guard and move to elegantly whack my ice into his eyes. It's kind of weird, whack my ice into his eyes. Uh, you, you can take that the wrong way. He lies sprawled at my feet, completely at my mercy. You strike and manage to get the better of Sir Donald, but do not defeat him outright. Oh my gosh, look at him, so bloody. He rises to his feet and readies his short sword once again. Why won't you just die? Jeez, Louise, look at us. I'm covered in blood. I'm drenched in my own blood. And look at this guy. It looks like I carved his eye out. Why won't you just die? Okay, let's let's do the same thing. I'm going to attack with speed. It worked last time. You, your experience in combat and prowess with ice allows you to spot an opening in Sir Donald's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. I'm going to strike. He lies sprawled at my feet, completely at my mercy. Come on, kill him. Sir Donald drops his greatsword and hesit hastily retreats. Yield. I yield, he says. <laughs> I say no. No, I accept. Back on your feet. We're not gonna kill a, you know, yielding man. Looks like I cut off his leg, so he's gonna die soon in the dungeon. We're not, you, know, you think he's gonna get medical treatment in the dungeon? No, he's still bleeding. We're just throwing him back in the cells. Yeah, um... Yeah, send him to the wall. One-legged at the wall, you, you, one-eyed. Oh, perfect. Who cares? Your enemy, Lord Jarl Fisher, has been captured by Lord Rickard Karstark of Carhold and has taken been taken to Carhold as a prisoner. Excellent. You know what? Excellent. Finish the siege. This guy is now imprisoned. His entire family is pr imprisoned. He's a minor lord. You know, it, who really cares about Stony Shore? Carhold wants to take care of him. I say let him. So we're going to bring this army back down to Greywater Watch and we're going to possibly bring them down to King's Landing if we need to. We have uh, an army of Tyrosh here. What is... What's Tyrosh doing? Defending against... Robert Baratheon is defending against uh, Archon of Tyrosh in the invasion of the Stormlands. So, okay, so excellent. That's perfect. That is exactly what we needed right now, Robert. You for to be invaded by the Tyroshi. Yes, perfect. Are you kidding? Can't they see where... Well, I they 100% see that we're in the middle of a... Civil War. That's why they're taking advantage of it now. The SOC. They're all... Crows. They're all... Uh, vultures. <sighs> Terrible. Well, let's hope that they can't take Storm's End. <sighs> if Storm's End had a thousand more defenders, they would be able to hold off, but they don't. Unfortunately. We have a Targaryen Loyalist army just north of us in King's Landing. They're just menacingly staring at us, but they, they don't have nearly enough men to do anything. So, yeah, they're just... They're, they're walking towards Hayford now. Again, I think they're trying to do, like, a... 
the tactic of making me break the Siege of King's Landing to chase after them, but we're, we're a lot smarter than Robert. We're not going to be doing that ourselves. Uh, excellent. We got more military men. This war is going great for us, honestly. Like, we lost quite a few men on the march down, being uh, ambushed a few times. But right now, it the war is over. They might as well surrender. That's how I see it. They can't win. Unless Tyro sh somehow manages to kill Robert. I There's no way we can lose this. With the siege mere days away from finishing, taking a look at King Rhaegar. No longer leading the armies uh, in the field. No, he's hiding like a coward somewhere hidden in the kingdom maybe he's already escaped the red keep i wouldn't be surprised maybe taking king's landing won't end this war i'm not sure so sure anymore he may be on dragonstone yeah look at this he has men reclaiming dragonstone but we have the veil and uh the stormlands uh coalition army already stationed there ready to pounce but i'm just i just i want I want Lyanna. I want my sister, okay? And I think Rhaegar's the only person who knows where she is right now, so we need to... We need to capture him, preferably, first, and then we can torture him a little bit, get the information, torture him a little bit more, uh, just to get, like, even for him, his father killing my father and brother, and then, you know, then we can kill him. So... That'd be preferable. That'd be really nice, actually. Just to, uh, be able to go home with my sister, alive and well... That's the goal. Fingers crossed. I feel that... Oh, here we go. The Tyrosh uh, army is actually being destroyed by Robert right now, so that's good. The Vale and Robert and the uh, Trident. Nice little coalition army right there going after the Tyroshi for trying to siege out Robert and uh, Storm's End. I was going to say, uh, we didn't really have to deal with the Reach due to the fact that the Westerlands, uh, Tywin the Wise, who is now incapable, declared war on the Reach, which was extremely helpful for us. 34% in favor of Mace of the Reach. That means that the Reach... Oh, here we go. The Siege of Storm's End is over. I mean, Siege of Red Keep. That means that the uh, Reachman, Mace Tyrell, was busy dealing with the Westlands, uh, opposed to dealing with Robert. Gave us plenty of time to march all the way down, even with the Vale doing whatever they're doing out over here, with 6,000 men still just sitting in the Eyrie, pretty much, next to Hart's home. Um, they, we didn't even need them. We won, pretty much, without the... Due to the Reach not helping. So that was great. Uh, Siege of the Red Keep, actually, we won. I write to express my consternation. People enjoy... I don't care. I do not care. If you don't enjoy... Well, I understand it's a warrior culture, but I'd be... If I if we went to war and the guy was like, hey, you can stay home. I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll stay home. I don't want to go to war. But uh, apparently these guys want to be put in the vanguard and like die horribly. But that's just... That's their culture, I guess. That's just them. Priest Roderick. He was cornered. Desperate crowd of beggars in... Why do we have beggars in Winterfell? Come on, that's the capital. That's where my children live. My girl, my Alisane, Alana, and has been seriously wounded. Kill the beggars. Okay, we don't need them. Charity can be dangerous work, so it seems. I, I mean, if you're killing the guy who's giving to ch po the poor, if the poor are killing the guy who's giving them free handouts, then clearly they don't want help. So let's not give it to them. That's my opinion. In, in Westeros, in, as Lord Eddard Stark in Westeros world. But yeah, we took the Red Keep, and, um... Who else is here? Did someone, like, hijack my... 258 men from the Trident somehow managed to hijack the siege, and Hoster Tully is now the guy who holds, uh, Elia. God, I wanted Elia. I'm the one who did, won the siege. I'm the one with the most men here. I wanted Elia so we could do, like, a prisoner transfer for my sister. And if he ref and if Rhaegar refused my uh, transfer, I would have executed her outside the walls of the Red Keep so then he could see what happens when you refu refuse a Northman uh, his ultimatum. But we can't do that anymore, I guess. Um, taking a look up north, I thought we were being invaded by... I don't know who, but apparently... The Citadel, the Maesters, have sent um, an army of 2,000 uh, uh, chainless Maesters, I guess. These are the unwanted Maesters. They join the side of Rhaegar, which, I mean, I can understand. He's the sitting king. We're the rebels here. Um, but they, the, but what I don't understand is sending them to the the uh, the Wall, who aren't even involved in the war. They're in the New Gift. 
Um, you would think that they might be like attacking the Hill Clans, which I can understand again, not the Night's Watch. So I go over to the war to see like the, the list to see the Citadel joining Rhaegar's side. And what I didn't notice or what I didn't realize is we got a new uh, uh, man on our side, a new emperor of Yt has decided to join the Westerosi Civil War. Um, very interesting. He is leading men in Karakas, uh, Karazushan. So I eagerly await the arrival of our Yt allies. I have no idea how he managed to do that. Are we intermarried here? How is this happening? Uh, that's definitely not a uh, Baratheon. Uh, is it Stannis to the Princess of Yt. She's a torturer. She's authoritative. I, I think they'll get along very well. Excellent. Stannis is actually leading men himself. Himself. In Attendale. Excellent. Wow. With his brother Robert. Yes, Robert and Stannis side by side. That's what you like to see. That's what you... It, it brings a tear to my eye. That's that's excellent. Lord Dror Mormont has been a leal and able servant. He has definitely been one of those i'm not gonna give him 22 gold that's half of my entire wealth wealth i'm like um not a good idea so let's say i owe him a favor i didn't realize i was losing so much money as well what in the world this war needs to end before the north goes bankrupt i already know that my vassals are having a tough time of it you know let's send a car start to go deal with these uh maesters they shouldn't put up too much of a fight Let's just go up there and, uh, you know, finish them off. Dragon's Gate, excellent. Piece by piece, King's Landing is falling under northern control. We have a possible situation brewing in Dorne. We have around 5,000, 6,000 men. Could be hostile, or they could just be returning home. They've given up on the war. Uh, you can't really tell with Dorne. Just like the north, where they're, they're kind of far away. They're detached. So I'm pretty sure that these guys have just given up. Uh, they realize they're going to lose. And the remaining 5,000 surviving Dornish men are just going to go home. Can't say I blame them. We have a battle on Dragonstone. Looks like Robert uh, made the fullest decision to completely ignore his advantage in numbers. Attack uh, the superior force with less men. Brilliant idea. Um... I, I, I'm just baffled. Baffled every time I play this game. But, you know, okay, in King's Landing, at least where we are, where Eddard Stark is taking command, it, things are going well. The Siege of King's Landing is slow. It's a painful process. It's very grueling. We've only taken two of the, what is this, six, seven layers. But if we just stay here, if we just consolidate our forces outside of King's Landing and starve these people out then the, we win. That's all we need to do. Just stay here. We don't need to be fighting. Who cares about the 1,500 men are over here, Robert? Who cares? We don't need to do... We don't need to fight them. Let them... Let them live. They're about to be your subjects in about, like, a month, okay? We don't need to be killing them. But, you know, you do you. Oh, boy. I'm afraid. Every time he goes into battle, he could die. He's gonna get, like, a, a, a horrible injury. He's gonna be blind or something. and got his eyes cut out. So far, he's doing good, though. So far, I'm very happy. 94%. This may... I don't know how much uh, percent we're going to get from this battle. 1%. Okay. Your enemy, Lord John Connington, has been captured. Excellent. John Connington. Clap him in irons. Throw him in the dungeon. Excellent. We're about to win the war. It's over for them. For the Targaryen loyalists. They're about to be under new management. We have a fleet of 200 boats somewhere off the uh, shore of the north, the uh, the Great North, the north beyond the wall. I don't know what they're doing. Dyke's Conquest uh, of the Ice River. 108 wildling men stand to face off against... Oh, it's uh, Ironborn pressing its claim on Beyond the Wall. You know, Beyond the Wall is just like a lawless wasteland. The Iron Lo uh, Iron uh, Islanders, they're not going to like it, but, I mean, if if he wants to go kill himself Beyond the Wall in the freezing cold, let him. I don't care. 
Looks like there's been a little bit of uh, the remnants. These are the old men and green boys who weren't brought about in the very first battle. Uh, it's like a desperate final attempt by the crown loyalists to raise up their armies. But again, they don't have nearly enough to even uh, contemplate battling against us. Somehow we lost a war score at some point. I didn't even realize. Halas seems to be interesting. Who is this? I don't care. I don't know who this guy is. It's harmless. He's groomed. Excellent. I'd, I'd prefer people to be groomed as opposed to, what, like, smelly? Come on. Lord Param Lord Tywin the Wise accepted Lord Paramount Quillen the Tenacious's peace offer. Um. Oh, my gosh. I thought Tywin was winning the war, but it looks like ever since he became incapable, he must have... The war just went completely downhill. Cersei Lannister is now a prisoner. Oh my god, of the Ironborn. She's gonna be a salt wife. That's not good. Okay, the Ironborn somehow managed to come out on top in Robert's Rebellion when in... Usually they do absolutely nothing. This is... crazy, um, to say the least. Wow. He took Lannisport. He took... No, he took Casterly Rock. Wow. Wow. The Greyjoys of Casterly Rock. I Excellent news. We got some money. There we go. Well, so much for the Lannisters. Oh my god, people want to just... The best of the best are leading the armies right now. The war's about to be over. You really... You don't want to come all the way down here just for the war to end. We're at 99%. Okay? Smooth it over. Trust me, it's it's not even worth it to come all the way down here. We're just all going to walk home in, uh, like, a month. Looks like the Freys are fighting the Tyroshi. That's very interesting, considering they haven't even decided whose side they are on in the Civil War. But, you know, at least they're against, uh, Estos. Rhaegar Targaryen accepted King Robert of the Iron Throne's peace offer. Excellent. Uh, yes. And now we have all this stuff where he, uh, takes all this stuff, you know. But what I'm really concerned with is my sister. Where is my sister? Your acquaintance, Rhaegar Targaryen, has been imprisoned. Yes. Excellent. Looks like... Oh, Elliot died in the dungeons. <laughs> well, so too bad for her, I guess. Imprisoned by King Robert of the Iron Throne, but it looks like if he got out, he would go underneath the Kingdom of the Reach. He would go underneath Mace Tyrell. Interesting to see. Are we part of the Iron Throne yet? No, we're still part of the North. We need to wait for the uh, Great War System to balance out. No. War for Griffin's Roost in Independence. Lord Paramount Mace of the Reach has declared War for Reachman Independence. X okay. Uh, John Connington, Independent. The Tower of Joy. Okay, we're here to save my sister. The war has ended, yet Lyanna Stark is still a prisoner in the Tower of Joy. We went to Rhaegar Targaryen in his cell. We got a few moments alone uh, while Robert was, wasn't was torturing him. We came in there. We uh, were interrogating the prisoner, the, uh, the once prince, the once king, Rhaegar. I want to know, where's my sister? What have you done with my sister? We only got three words out of him. Tower of Joy. I've been wondering where the three Kingsguard have been. Kingsguard I haven't seen. Kingsguard who haven't bent the knee to Robert, even though the war is over, even though he's sitting the Iron Throne. <sighs> Maybe I'll find my answers there. Okay, well, th there is a high probability I may die here. At least we have an heir in Alana. She is... Uh, you always love to hear this when your parents talk about you. She's nothing special, but she's the best we got. So we're going to go with her if we die. I mean, it, it, best case scenario, all seven of my guys gonna get out of here alive, and we leave with my sister. Oh. 
Bloodstock. I looked for you on the Trident. And we weren't there. Your friend, the Usurper, would lie beneath the ground if we had been. Where's my sister? I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And now it begins. No. Now it ends. Alan Reed has prevailed against Sir Oswald Went. Wow. Ricewell, what? Are you kidding me? Mark Ricewell has prevailed against Sir Arthur Dane. The Knights of the Kingsguard are pushovers, dude. These guys suck. <laughs> Willem Dustin has been slain by Gerald Hightower. Let's hope this guy doesn't sweep us now after I did all that trash talking. Martin Cassell has prevailed against Lord Commander Gerald, who lost one man against the three greatest swordsmen in the entire kingdom. We lost one man. Granted, we did outnumber them, and in my version, we took them by surprise in the dead of night, and we took out Sir Arthur Dane uh, while he was sleeping, but... Oh my god, excellent. We lost one man. Okay, after a fierce fight, many of my comp well, okay, one of my companions are slain. I pulled stones from the tower to make ca uh, cairns for them and our foes. Thankfully, Lyanna is alive and well. It, it appears she has had a child whilst in Prince Rhaegar's custody. What shall be done with this child? What, what do you mean, what's going to be done with this child? I'm going to throw it off the Tower of Joy myself. Targaryen blood. Um. Well... Well, I don't, I mean, if, uh, oh God, if, if the truth of the child is known, then Robert will be very upset, and I don't know if he's going to marry Lyanna still, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Um, let's just say I'm going to raise the kid as my own. Catelyn's going to have to be, uh, Lady Paramount Catelyn's just going to have to get over it. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. We have Jon Snow currently in our... Yes, we had fulfilled the ambition to have a son as well because we're faking that Jon Snow is our son. Can we legitimize him and just have him be who we play as? Because that would be great. Oh yeah, the war's over. Can we link? Let's march home. Lord Palmer Renly is graded. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is the time where everyone just like, we just need to settle down for a little bit. The war is over. We need to root out the Targaryen loyalists, but... Their time is over. They don't have enough to uh, even consider fighting against us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Robert Robert and Lyanna are, like, crazy together. So I think everyone's going to love their ruling, uh, you know, stuff. The only thing I'm worried about is... What is this? Oh, I got called into the war against the uh, Tyrosh. Let's go fight him, I guess. Why not? Yeah, but Robert Baratheon is going to be a great king, I hope. In this uh, timeline, hopefully he doesn't, you know, whine and dine and whore himself to an early grave. He's already a tyrant, which is kind of a, a uh, worrying this early on, but we can't all be perfect.
That's how I see it. Let's have five kids. Uh, let's make it up to Catelyn. Uh, since we cheated on her and brought home a bastard, let's make it up to Catelyn. Let's have three more kids. Hopefully. We need to make sure the Stark line is good and secured. Let's get a good Spymaster as well.